So let's say that we have y is equal to the secant of 3 pi over 2 minus x. And what we want to do is we want to figure out what dy dx is, the derivative of y with respect to x is, at x equal pi over 4. And like always, pause this video and see if you could figure it out. Well, as you can see here, we have a composite function. We're taking the secant, not just of x, but you could view this as of another expression that I guess you could define, or as of, a, of another function. So for example, if we call this right over here u of x, so let's do that. So if we say u of x is equal to 3 pi over 2 minus x, and we could also figure out u prime of x is going to be equal to derivative of 3 pi over 2, that's just going to be 0. Derivative of minus x, well, that's just going to be minus 1. And you could just view that as a power rule. It's 1 times negative 1 times x to the 0 power, which is just 1. So there you go. So we could view this as the derivative of secant with respect to u of x, and when we take the derivative, the derivative of secant with respect to u of x times the derivative of u with respect to x. And you might say, well, what about the derivative of secant? Well, in other videos, we actually prove it out. And you could actually rederive it. Secant is just 1 over cosine of x, so it comes straight out of the chain rule. So in other videos, we prove that the the derivative of the secant of x of secant of x is equal to is equal to sine of x over cosine of x over cosine of x squared so if we're trying to find the derivative of y with respect to x what's well going to be the derivative of secant with respect to u of x times the derivative of u with respect to x so let's do that. The derivative of secant with respect to u of x, well, instead of seeing an x everywhere, you're going to see a u of x everywhere. So this is going to be sine of u of x, sine of u of x. And I could, I don't have to write u of x, I could write 3 pi over 2 minus x, but I'll write u of x right over here just to really visualize what we're doing. So sine of u of x over, over, cosine squared of u of x. Cosine squared, let me do those parentheses in the blue color just to make sure that you identify it with a trig function. So cosine squared of u of x, u of x. So that's the derivative of secant with respect to u of x, and then the chain rule tells us it's gonna be that times u prime, u prime of x. So what is this going to be equal to? Well, I could just substitute back. This is going to be equal to, I will write it like this, sine of u of x, which is 3 pi over 2 minus x, and I'll fill that in a second, over cosine of u of x squared times u prime of x. u of x is 3 pi over 2 minus x, 3 pi over 2 minus x. And then u prime of x, we, all, we already figured out, is negative 1. So I could write times negative 1. Well, yeah, I'll, let me just leave it out there for now. I could, I could have just put a negative out front, but I really want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. And now we want to evaluate at x equals pi over 4. So when that is equal to pi over 4, pi over 4. So let's see, this is going to be, this is going to be equal to sine of, what's 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 4? I'll do that over here. So if you have a common denominator, that is 6 pi over 4. That's the same thing as 3 pi over 2. Minus pi over 4. Sorry. <laughs> minus pi over 4 is equal to 5, 5 pi over 4. So it's sine of 5 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4 over cosine squared of 5 pi over 4, and then times negative 1. And I could just put that out here. Now, what is sine of 5 pi over 4 and cosine squared of 5 pi over 4? Well, I don't have that memorized, but let's actually draw a unit circle, and we should be able to, we should be able to figure out what that is. So a unit circle. I'm going to try to hand draw it as best as I can. 
please forgive me that this circle does not look really like a circle. All right. Okay, so let me just remember my angles. So I, I, in my brain, I sometimes convert into degrees. Pi over four is 45 degrees. This is pi over two. This is three pi over four. This is four pi over four. This is five pi over four. Lands you right over there. So if, if you wanted to see where the, you intersect the unit circle, this is at the point This is at the point, your x coordinate is negative square root of two over two, negative square root of two over two, and your y coordinate is negative square root of two over two. If you're wondering how I got that, I encourage you to review the unit circle and some of the uh, standard angles around the unit circle. You'll see that in the trigonometry uh, uh, section of Khan Academy. But this is enough for us because The sign is the y coordinate. It's the y coordinate here. So negative square root of two over two. So this is negative square root of two over two. And then the cosine is the x coordinate, which is also negative square root of two over two, but it's going to be that squared. Negative square root of two over two. We're squaring it. So if we square this, it's going to become, this is going to become, it's going to become positive. And then square root of two squared is two, and then two squared is four. So it's one half. So this is, the denominator is equal to one half. See, in the numerator, this negative cancels out with that negative. And so we are left with, and we deserve a little bit of a drum roll, <laughs> that we are left with square root of two over two, that's the numerator, divided by one half. Well, that's the same thing as multiplying by two. So we are left with positive square root of two is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y is equal to this when x is equal to pi over four. Pretty exciting.